Um, so I had a question written down, but now I understand why I don't need to ask that question, but I'll ask it anyway, um, which is like, why, what is it about the biodynamic way of farming that attracts you? It attracts me. Mm. Um, one thing is, I don't know why this camp hill thing has become central to this uh, conversation, <laughs> but it's there now. Yeah. But when I grew up, that was just agriculture. That was the normal way to grow to have fields and farms and animals and vegetables and that we would go out as a community and spray the preparations a couple of times a year all together. Um, Maybe was, do, you, do you want to also just briefly, I mean, I've made a whole film about what is biodynamic yeah. farming, but just briefly, what is biodynamic farming for somebody who maybe doesn't mm. really know? And I know that's difficult to, to yeah, shorten. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It is difficult. Um, now, I've, I've, I've spent years thinking, I'm going to sit down and write, what is biodynamic agriculture, briefly? Like, just, <laughs> just to be able to answer that question. But I haven't gotten around to it, actually. So I'll just say a couple of things about it, maybe. But um, It's like the environment is a, a living... Everything is alive and connected, like all things are one. There are many other traditions that have the same foundation. And we are affected by and always connected to the entire cosmos. And uh, biodynamics is uh, different methods which are developed from that understanding. Um, And like practically, it's very connected to animals and to plants, especially certain plants that accompany agriculture often, like nettles and dandelions and yarrow that are wild plants, but they're not really in the wild. They are on the periphery of, of agriculture. And they have properties, um, both physical properties that people have used a lot in herbal medicine. Um, they have properties in connection to the soil. And then from the biodynamic uh, perspective, they have cosmic properties also. Like they are connected to certain planets in certain ways or, yeah. There are many different ways that you can think inside the framework of biodynamics. Um, and it is, it gives an immense freedom, I think, when you, ex when you accept or live in the reality that everything is alive and everything is connected. And that's also including the cosmos. Like it's very expansive um, way of seeing. I feel an enormous freedom in that when I'm feeling attacked by different bugs or things that I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm allowed to have that feeling of being attacked. Like, I'm also participating in this. Me and all of my anxieties or stresses, and we are in a... a samspel. Like, we're in relationship. And then if I allow those things to be, then suddenly I see, like, I'm released from that perspective of, like, like tight and controlling. And then I can lift out and see us all in a more or less... Ah, the Swedish words are coming. <laughs> harmonious. <laughs> more or less harmonious dance. You can throw in the Swedish words every now and then. I'll just subtitle it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's how yeah. I would briefly describe biodynamic agriculture. Mm, thank you. That was beautiful. Mm.